Hello, good day and welcome to About Device. Today we are going to be learning how to load Google Analytics locally on our WordPress website. So first of all, go to your WordPress dashboard. I'm on my WordPress dashboard. dashboard. So we'll go to plugins, I'll click on add new. Also open your Google Analytics dashboard, the account you've created then go back to the dash um, dashboard of the wordpress plugin the plugin we are going to be installing is kaos kaos that is the name of the plugin so you can see it kaos that is host google analytics locally so you, you install the plugin so you will be a bit patient for the plugin to install so after installation you activate the plugin then go to your google analytics dashboard go to admin that is the admin area so we need our tracking info so we go to the tracking info oh, sorry we go to the tracking code so this is the number we need the tracking id so you need to get your tracking id so you copy the tracking id so after this you need to go to the settings of the plugin you, you could see this is the plugin so you could click the settings here or you could come here come to settings and then click optimize google analytics anyone you wish so let's do this remember you need to copy your tracking id or if you create an account you could easily copy it also so after this you are go it's going to open the basic settings so you paste your tracking id there now do you want to track in um logged in administrator you select it you also select other settings do you want to be as asynchronous default or minimal analytics so anyone you wish so anyone you wish you could use Right now I want to change mine to minimal analytics because it's faster and all I use um, page view, um, what um, Google Analytics for is for what page view and events. So after this, you want to anonymize the IP depending on the rules in your nation or laws, you will be required to an anonymize the IP. And where do you want it to be loaded, header, footer or so after this you save you save settings so i want to check why i want to use the minimal analytics so after this we need to go to so i've saved my settings no, after say no not extensions uh we'll go to extension normally normally i like to add a an adjusted bounce rate in order to capture the real bounce rate so which is 30 you could choose plugin add lane do you want to enable stealth mode and other settings here yeah, do you want to track ad blockers so all this you could do it and after you've done this you save changes and immediately to begin to track your users as you can see you can see now i have one active user on my site that is to tell you that it's beginning to track my user so with this you've learned how to host google analytics locally please like share and subscribe to about device for more tech related tutorials thank you